right here in New Vrindavan, one devotee. I was sitting next to him at the time, and as soon as he asked the question, I wish I wasn't there. He asked about Siddha Swarup. And Srila Prabhupada just relentlessly blasted him repeatedly. You have so many bad habits, and you're talking, even talking about Siddha Swarup. Then he turned to the president and said, You see, this is Sahaja. He just asked about Siddha Swarup. But, but then I was thinking, you know, Srila Prabhupada is not answering the question, he's responding to his heart. It was their first encounter, but Srila Prabhupada could just see his heart. It wasn't worthy to be discussing such a topic. And Srila Prabhupada made that really clear. Furthermore, Srila Prabhupada warned devotees to not go to the Babaji's at Radhakund in pursuit of your Siddha Pranali. Nevertheless, one did. Big sannyasi in our movement. And then one day, he was walking around like this. And then the devotees asked him, what are you doing? He said, well, I just got my, my, siddha, my siddha Pranali and my Siddha Swarup. In, in, in Krishna Leela, I'm a peacock and I'm practicing. And then in no time, he left the movement altogether and engaged in very abominable activities. Now he came back just before he left his body, so it was a glorious conclusion. When one devotee asked about Siddha Pranali, because it's right there in the Shastra, you have to receive this from your guru. It's part of the pursuit of perfection. So one devotee asked Srila Prabhupada about that before his divine grace departed this world. And Srila Prabhupada, in his typical, very confident, simple, practical way, said, don't worry about that. When you're ready for that, I'll come and give it to you. Now, somebody who has faith in Srila Prabhupada will be completely satisfied with that and not make any separate endeavor to understand these higher topics because when we're ready, Srila Prabhupada will give it to you. And that's why it is so safe and satisfying to be around devotees who really have implicit faith in Srila Prabhupada. Because we're confident that when we're ready, we will receive without any extraneous effort. Nevertheless, we don't want to become complacent and you know, forget about the goal and keeping our sadhana aligned with the sadhya. But don't broadcast it indiscriminately because it's a very confidential topic. Now here, in Vrindavan, during Kartik, among souls who are very chaste to Srila Prabhupada's mission and vision, we have confidence to discuss such things. But you have to be really careful of your audience and your speaker. Because, as you know, Srimad Bhagavatam says, we can't become free of sex desire without hearing the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. But you can't hear the pastimes of Krishna if, if you have sex desire. So how do you resolve that apparent contradiction by hearing from the proper source? Who applies the remedy with the proper prescription according to your condition? <laughs>